Two days before you arrive in the bailiwick, you will need to register on our online travel tracker and provide certain details. You can do this by visiting covid19.gov.gg and clicking on the travel section, which provides lots of information about the rules for traveling to Guernsey and a link to the registration portal. When you arrive at the airport, you will be required to take a self-throat and nose swab on arrival. Depending on your travel history, you will then have a mandatory period of self-isolation. This will have been confirmed on your online travel tracker account or by the port staff on arrival. When you arrive in Guernsey, please keep your face mask on for the duration until you reach the location where you will be self-isolating. Continue through baggage reclaim, where you'll be met by a member of staff in the arrivals hall and directed to a booth to complete your self-swab. Here's how the test works. Take the swab out and pop it into the back of the throat, avoiding the teeth, the tongue and the cheeks. Look in the mirror and swab all the way around at the back of the throat, including the tonsils. This might make you gag a little, but please try and hold it. Take the swab out without contaminating it and then, looking in the mirror again, pop the swab into your nose. Rotate it into one nostril six times. Take it out and pop it in the next nostril and rotate it six times. Once you have done that, remove the swab, keeping it clean. Undo the lid of the bottle and pop it in. You then need to snap the long swab stick, which will naturally snap at the weakest point put the lid on, make sure it is secure so you don't get any leakage of any of the fluid. Once you've done all of that, there is a barcode on the actual bottle and you'll need to log back into the account you created on your travel tracker, which will give you instructions for scanning the barcode with your phone. When you have successfully scanned the barcode, you will see the barcode number in the box on the screen. Seal the bottle inside the second plastic bag then hand in to the airport staff. Proceed directly to where you will self-isolate, wearing your face mask until you get there. Please remember, when you book your travel, to ensure you have arranged onward travel to your destination where you will self-isolate. There may be a delay going through arrivals, which you will need to bear in mind if you are booking a taxi. Regardless of your self-swab test results, you need to follow the self-isolation information you have been given depending on your travel history. If you need a follow-up COVID test on day 7, then you'll be called by one of our scheduling team and given an appointment time. When you are invited for a test, follow the orange COVID car park signs where you'll be met by a hospital porter outside the tent. They will direct you into a line of traffic. Please keep your window up and wait to be called through to the tent. Once you are called through, there are two options. If you are a car driver, we will ask you to wind your window down and we will take a swab while you are sitting in the car. We will take a swab from the back of your throat and also from your nose in both nostrils. If you arrive by taxi, we will ask you to get out of the taxi and sit in a chair where we can take the swab. Once that's complete, we will then ask you to leave the tent with your window up and exit the tent to the left. Test results take up to 48 hours to be processed, though in most cases it will be much sooner. If you have elected to do so, you will be sent your results by text, otherwise you will be contacted by a member of the public health team with your results. Positive test results are not sent out via text message. If your test result is negative, you won't need to continue self-isolating, but you will need to continue observing passive follow-up rules. Details of these can be found on covid19.gov.gg. It is your responsibility to look them up and follow them. Thank you for taking the time to watch this guide and please help us to keep Guernsey's community safe and healthy.